this week on Engage the Sage. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hi, I'm Don Saucier. Welcome to this week's episode of Engage the Sage. This week, we're going to tell you about ways that you can build rapport with your students by showing that you care about them in class. I think that teaching and learning are to be optimized in your class when your students feel connected to you and feel like they can trust you. Creating connections with your students and letting them know that they can trust you is something that I think you can do with intention in your classes. Today we're going to tell you five things that we think you can do easily in any class that you teach to help your students feel connected to you and you can feel connected to them and you can establish rapport. The first recommendation that I'm going to make for how you can establish rapport with your students is to engage with them before class. If you watch this channel, you've probably heard me say before that I think that the classroom is the oasis. It's the place that I get to go, I have the opportunity to go, to get away from all of the other personal and professional concerns and responsibilities that I have in my life. So I like to go to class, and I like to get there a little bit early. Part of the reason I like to get there a little bit early is I really like to have conversations with my students before class starts. Those couple minutes before class is a really wonderful opportunity for me to talk to my students, get to learn about them, tell them things about me, about things that literally have nothing to do with the class that I'm teaching. I'm not awesome at small talk. So what happens is I will usually think of the conversations that I'm going to try to start with my students before I get to class. So when I get there, it's easier to talk to them. For instance, if they're wearing headphones, I might ask them what they're listening to. I have very little chance of knowing who it is they're listening to, but it's fun to have that conversation. I might ask them if they saw the last sports ball game. What these small conversations do for me is it allows me to connect with my students outside of the academic content we're going to learn together. It lets us connect as people. It lets us share opinions. And what that means is the connection we're establishing is not so asymmetrical. I'm less the instructor and more a person. And I think having them see me like that is going to help me teach them. <laughs> the second recommendation that I'm going to make about how you can establish rapport by showing your students you care is by sharing personal information about yourself with them. In our last video, we kind of showed you how we can do this by telling stories um, that are relevant to your own life, maybe even being a little bit vulnerable, maybe even being a little bit emotional. You get to decide the personal information you want to share with your class. And you want it to be something that you're comfortable with, something you feel safe with, maybe be a little bit vulnerable or emotional, that's fine. But you want to make sure that you're letting your students know that you are a person in front of that class. And by sharing little bits about your thoughts, your feelings, and your experiences, I think you can do that well. One of the things you can actually use in terms of the personal information you share is to let students know about mistakes that you've made in the past. Letting them know that you're fallible and human is going to provide a good model for them learning and feeling free to make mistakes in your class as they learn. Hey, now, I feel really bad. Um, I went through the questions the other day and I missed one. And I'm glad that the student brought it up to me, but I, I, I just missed one. There's two pages just stuck together or something or whatever, but I missed a question. The question is, if you had to choose two words to describe yourself personally or professionally, what would they be? And the person went on to say, I had to do it for an internship and struggled. Uh, the two words that I would use, either personal or professional, um, would be uh, passionate and human. Um, and I mean that in the good and bad senses of both words. I, I care very deeply, and I'm very invested in the kinds of things that I do, and I mess up a lot. The third recommendation I'm going to make is to let your students know that you are invested in promoting their success. As often as you reasonably can, I think you should remind your students that you are interested in their learning. You are providing them opportunities to learn the content and the skills that they signed up for in your class. Let them know you are not an adversary. 
you are not an obstacle to their success. You are there to facilitate and promote that success. Let them know you're looking forward to the work they're going to submit. Let them know you're looking forward to reading about their ideas. Let them know you're looking forward to seeing them excel. Because I don't know how many people have told you this, but professors generally want to promote your success. We want you to learn and do well. We're not going to do it for you. We're going to try to learn and do well. So all of the things that I've done in the structure of this class is hoping that you will do well. And we're going to put ourselves in a position to support you in doing well. That's something we care deeply about. And if we didn't care deeply about that, we shouldn't be in the classroom with you. Right? In case states about failing, you now have one. All of us who teach in this are volunteers. No one's making me do this. No one's making him do this. We do this because we believe in this. When I said earlier that we're invested in your success, we are. We want you to do well. And anything we can reasonably do to help with that is important. The fourth recommendation for helping build rapport with your students is to let your students know that you empathize and understand that they have lives outside of your particular classroom. It's really easy sometimes for us to think as the teachers of the class that the class is the most important priority for all of our students all the time. Our students have personal lives. Our students have family responsibilities and situations. Our students have job responsibilities. Our students have lots of stuff going on. And our class is just one thing among lots of priorities they have that is vying for their time and attention. And I think letting them know that we understand that is important. One of the ways that we can show our students that we care about all the aspects of their lives is to let them know that we support those occasions when they do have to miss our classes and maybe have to be late on an assignment. I am not recommending that you don't have course policies and late policies and standards and rigor in your class. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is that we can acknowledge that life happens to our students and we can work with them in fair ways that they can still have the opportunity to learn and succeed in our classes. Uh, I was waiting for someone to send me the email, like, are we canceled tomorrow because the cheese is gone? <laughs> and all that. No one sent me the email, so we're not canceled. So we're all here. So. Yay! Just like you were a Patriots fan. What were you supposed to say? Now, number one, I root for the Chiefs when they're not playing against the Patriots. But, and I also realized that I had to teach nine mornings after Patriots have been in Super Bowl, so it, it happens. You know, life goes on. But congratulations to all of your Chiefs fans. It was a very, very fun game. But it's also Katie's birthday, and we're going to sing to her now Yay. because that's really important. She knows she opened up like 19 presents over here. It was amazing. So, are ready, Katie? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. Yay. The fifth recommendation that I'm going to make for how you can establish rapport with your students by showing them that you care is to thank them. Without our students, we do not have the opportunity to be teachers. We don't have that wonderful oasis of the classroom to take us away from all the personal and professional responsibilities that are distracting us. Our students do a lot for us. Let them know we are grateful for that experience. Let them know that amid all the things that are happening in their lives, that we appreciate that they chose to take our class, they chose to come to class that day, they chose to demonstrate their learning and the work that we assigned. The number one recommendation that I gave you for being successful in this class is to do what? Come to class, right? Thank you for taking that recommendation this morning. Right? So thank you all for coming today. We had everybody show up today. Woo! Yay! You all made a choice to come to class today. This was awesome. Rousing conversation. I'm really, you weren't roused necessarily. It's going to be more. The rest of us were roused. This is amazing. Uh, have a great week, and we'll come back and pick this up with the one even more important than predictability on Monday. So what you just heard about are five recommendations that I think will allow you to establish rapport with your students by showing them that you care. I have to add one more thing though. It is important that when you're doing these five recommendations that you do so with authenticity. These recommendations will not work if you don't care while you're doing it and if you are not genuine while you're doing it. These recommendations are going to help you establish rapport in your classes and that rapport is going to provide a wonderful foundation for teaching and learning and is going to optimize your experience as an instructor 
and their experience as students. In the comments below, I look forward to seeing how you establish rapport in your classes. Thank you for watching this episode of Engage the Sage. Please like, subscribe, sign up for notifications, share us on social media, and we'll see you next time.